Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about shoes today. Uh, more specifically, we're going to talk about the Armory shoes and Yohei Fukuda's ready to wear. So these two share a very important characteristic, which is that they're both made by Yohei Fukuda. Uh, Yohei Fukuda is a very outstanding bespoke shoemaker based in Tokyo. We do trunk shows with him um, and obviously we sell his ready to wear shoes, but he also designed our Armory shoes. So how did that happen? Well. Um, a couple years ago, probably five years ago now I think about it, um, Fukuda-san and I were talking about doing a line of ready-to-wear with his name on it. Uh, something that was, you know, rather than $5,000 for his bespoke shoes, something in the 500 to 1000 US dollars range. And uh, so we started looking at some factories, uh, made some samples, uh, and originally we were hoping actually for it to be a Japanese-made shoe. Uh, we got the samples back and they were okay, but we felt like we could do better. Um, and also, Fukuda-san was feeling a little uncomfortable with the project because he was not used to having like a cheaper product that had to have certain compromises um, in order to hit its price point out there. So uh, I said, well, listen, why don't we change it from being Yohei Fukuda shoes to just the Armory shoes and you can design it. And uh, he was much more comfortable with that and so that's kind of how the Armory shoes were born. Uh, so the Armory shoes, rather than making in Japan, actually we make them in UK, in the North, in Northampton, um, thanks to some connections I had over there. And uh, it's designed by Fukuda, uh, last and upper, and we go to the factory regularly just to kind of check on production, make tweaks to the production. Um, this was the first model we did. So the last is called the Hajime last. It's a soft chisel toe last. Um, it fits about a D to an E width. Uh, when we were designing it, we really wanted to make it comfortable. Um, like we wanted to try and prioritize that. So what we did, which you don't see on a lot of shoes, is we actually do the decorative panels on the front section, on the vamp, as uh, just decorative stitching rather than a separate panel. So for instance, this is a semi-brogue, right? It's a capto semi-brogue. Normally this section should be a separate panel of leather. But in our case, we just did the rows of decorative stitching and the um, punching because this, doing it this way will actually allow the shoe to break in a little faster um, because that doesn't have that hard piece here. And it will also uh, be more comfortable across your toes, especially early on, because when you have a cap, what happens is the leather will, will crease here. And if you're not very, very perfectly fitted into the shoe, it'll crease right into your toes. And that's what causes that blistering on the top of your toes. So we did it this way to try and mitigate that to a certain extent. Um, other interesting design features, uh, we always do keystone lacing, so five eyelets, and then it goes from wide to narrow at the top. Um, we also do two rows of decorative stitching on the back, which is kind of one of Fukuda-san's um, design signatures. For the sole, we do a channeled sole. So what that means is, all our shoes are Goodyear welted. Um, a channeled sole is when you cut a channel so basically an, ang an angled cut into the outsole here, and then you stitch through, and then you close the channel. So you've cut it, a little flap of leather comes up, you stitch through, and then you put it down again, and glue it down and seal it, and that's it. And it's a beautiful way of finishing a sole. Like it looks awesome when it's new. Um, obviously it wears out after a while. But we also do this. This is our oiled leather sole, which personally I actually prefer because it's so comfortable. So the oiled leather sole is similar to Alden's Flex Weld, and it means you can do that. Like, just out of the box, it's much, much more flexible, and uh, it makes it a great, you know, daily wear shoe. Okay, moving on. How does this at $495 compare to this at $2,300? Um, quite a few things. Firstly, the quality of leather on this is just better. There's no, there's no way I can say it like, there's no way I can gloss over that. It's just a better quality of leather. Um, and you can really tell when you look at the leathers together and you see the natural grain in this sort of leather. And when you depress onto the leather, something that you might notice is that the, the very, very top surface of the leather does not detach from the layers of leather underneath. Um, that is something that you really will only experience on the very, very top end of shoes. Uh, and what it means is that over time, the creases won't be as pronounced. Um, moving on, 
Scutasan is very famous for this design feature, which is what we call a long vamp. So what that means is that this vamp panel uh, stretches all the way to the back. Now, there's an interesting historic reason for this, which is back in the day when leather was rationed, so for instance, during wartime, um, this style of shoe is much more wasteful of leather to produce because you have such a big panel, you have to pick where it's going to come off the hide and you have much fewer choices if it's going to be such a big panel. If this was subdivided into smaller panels, then it'd be easier. Um, and then on the sole, well, the sole and the way it's lasted because these two kind of go hand in hand. So. Fukuda's shoes are hand lasted. What that means is that you take the upper, the leather upper, okay, and you wrap it around the fiberglass last, which represents the shape and the void of the shoes in, of the inside of the shoe, and uh, you pull it tight. And we do it by machine. You can do it quickly and fairly efficiently, um, and you'll get a decent result. But if you do it by hand, you can do this. So under the arch here, you get so much more curvature by hand lasting it and it looks great on the foot like when you have it on your foot right you just imagine like your foot looks so much more so much smaller so much more slender because that leather is wrapping around and swooping underneath on top of that there's also some comfort benefits like it gives you a little bit more support on the underside of your foot and in the arch because of the way it's wrapping under your foot um, more tightly finally um, we always do our Fukuda shoes with metal toe taps. So this prolongs the life of a shoe significantly. Like a lot of people, the way they walk is they, they walk with a kicking action. So their toe is digging into the ground like this and then coming up again. And on a, on a sole like this, you will find that this area is gonna rub out much quicker than this. Um, so significantly prolongs the, the life of the shoe. Um, and then one final nice touch is we always provide our Fukuda shoes with lasted shoe trees. So the shoe tree is matched to the size and the shape of the shoe. Um, it's not generic and uh, it's one of those things that, you know, if you put your shoe trees in your shoes every night, it'll prevent the creases from getting out of control, prevent the sole from deforming too much. There you go. Armory shoes and Yohei Fukuda shoes. Thanks for watching.